Good afternoon. I'd like to make some comments on behalf of President Trump. First of all, this was a momentous day. This is the first time in our nation's history that a sitting president has decided to prosecute his major opponent who's leading in all the polls in the country. The issues that the court had to deal with today were momentous. Whether or not a president of the United States could be prosecuted for carrying out his responsibilities, doing his job as president. We can't have a country where every four years there's a cycle of political recrimination where one administration attacks a prior administration when in fact that candidate is leading in the polls and will be the next president of the United States. As our legal team, as our appellate team made clear, that would be a disaster for our country. That would be a direct attack on democracy and that cannot happen. What was very significant today, and I'm sure you all caught it, is the special counsel conceded that if it was President Obama who was being prosecuted for a drone strike, then they'd have to consider immunity. But when it's not, when it's President Trump, then they're taking the position that there's no immunity for presidential acts that were required when a president is carrying out his job responsibilities. If we adopt what the special counsel wants, if we adopt what President Biden wants, then we open the Pandora's box to political prosecution after political prosecution after political prosecution. In fact, Joe Biden could be prosecuted for trying to stop this man from becoming the next president of the United States. We don't need political prosecutions. We need political process.